Hey there, in this video we're going to look at how to make crosshairs for an FPS game in Unity and how you can make them scale as the player moves or when they shoot at something. This project is open source so you can find the code and other assets in the git repo linked in the description below. If you're bothered by the fact that my character is aiming directly at something and still missing, that's because I've added hipfire bloom and I'll be doing a tutorial on that in the coming weeks. So if you find this content useful or interesting, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps to keep me motivated. First things first, we're going to need an actual crosshair texture. I made a couple in Substance Designer. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a short tutorial on how I put this together. It's pretty much just adding and subtracting shapes till you have something you like. The most important thing to note though is that I only output the texture data to the green channel. This is important for when we make our shader over in Unity. My setup in Unity is a simple character controller with a camera and weapon management system attached to the player. So at this point, I'm able to move my character around, but it would be pretty tough to know where I'm shooting. So our main camera, let's add a plane and call it Crosshair. We'll rotate it negative 90 degrees on the x-axis and scale it down to 0.01 and place it at position one on the z-axis. We also need to remove the mesh collider now we have a plane in the middle of the screen facing the camera. Great. Let's add an unlit shader graph. We'll name it crosshair and open it up. We'll bring in our crosshair texture, disable sRGB and set alpha is transparency to true before applying. We can then drag the texture into our graph, add a flipbook node. We'll drag the output to our UV and set the width and height to 2x2. Two two. We can change the current crosshair that's being displayed by selecting one of the four tiles. So we'll just create a variable for this so that we can control it from our material. Next, we'll drag the green channel into a multiply node, which will then link with a color node. I went ahead and created a variable for this too and enabled HDR and set the color to white. You can go ahead and change the surface type to transparent, enable alpha clip, set the clip threshold to 1 and change the blend mode to additive. And you can go ahead and hit that save button. Future me already went ahead and created a material from this shader. So if you're not sure how to do that, you just right click the shader graph and say create material. And then you can drag the material onto the plane. So with that done, we have the ability to change the crosshair by incrementing the crosshair counter in the material settings. And if we wanted to, we could change the color too. Next, we'll need to add a script, which we're going to use to manage the scale of our crosshair. We can just drag it into our crosshair game object and we'll start coding away. We'll start by creating an enum, which we'll use to keep track of the state of our crosshair based on what the character is doing. The states will just be default, walk, run, and shoot, and we'll change the scale accordingly based on the current action of the character. Next, we'll need a couple of vectors to keep track of the actual scale we want to set the crosshair to at each of these states. So we'll create a vector for the default crosshair scale, the walking scale, shooting scale, and running scale. We'll create a float which will determine the speed at which our crosshair increases or decreases in scale. And in the start method, we'll just make sure that our current scale is set to the default crosshair scale. In the update method, we'll use a switch statement to figure out the current state of our crosshair and loop the transform to match it. Finally, we'll make two public methods available which will be used to set the current crosshair state. We'll call these methods from the character controller based on the current state of the player. We'll provide an overloaded set scale method which will allow the caller to provide a reset time for the crosshair. In this scenario, we will fire a coroutine which will reset the crosshair to the default scale after the provided time. This will be useful for triggered states like shooting. And now, from your character controller, you will need to get a reference to the crosshair game object. And based on whether your character is walking, shooting or running, you can call the set scale method to update the scale of the crosshair. I personally prefer this method, whilst it is a fair amount more setup than using a simple canvas. The crosshair really just seems like something that should be manageable from within the player object rather than an external user interface component. Please do let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below, I'd love to get your feedback. Anyway, until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.